Hey, I thought this was pretty funny. We back with the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. Appreciate for everybody subscribing and continue to subscribe and tell your friends about the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know we do more than boxing. Cover the whole board. Uh, check Twitter, Instagram out, and our Facebook out. All those links in the description so you can keep up with the fast pace that we usually move at with these boxing news and sports news as well. But I find it really funny that HBO has two um, major posters and Selusky and, and, and Danny Jacobs has a poster with everybody else on it. But these are the posters that you see around New York City as well um, and around social media and the Internet, um, you know, that just, you know, you know, has the main character on the poster, the main fighter, because both of these guys are fighting, quote unquote, mismatches. And a lot of the casual public's fan view now, you know, us people, you know, our hardcore people, the hardcore channels, you know. Uh, and hardcore boxing fans, the Pierce boxing fans, no Selesky is a good fighter versus Danny Jacobs, but your casual uh, common fan don't know know him, don't know him, and HBO don't feel like he got a hell of a chance producing the poster out there with just Danny Jacobs on the poster with the Brooklyn Bridge behind him. And shout out to the Brooklyn Bridge, and you see the uh, Statue of Liberty right behind it. It's a beautiful scenery. I was out there in Brooklyn last week, um, and then you see them come up with the Triple G poster. Uh, versus Vines and Monterosi and don't have nobody else on there but Triple G. Not even Vines didn't even make the poster. So, you know, how am I supposed to feel as a casual fan? And you want me to get your viewership, but you guys don't even give the the B or C or shit, might as well say Z side in, this situ in both of these situations to most casual fans a chance to win. So why should I pull in my viewership to see, you know, both of these guys' potential bum bash in my opinion? I don't think Selesky's a bum, but, you know, you know, why am I pulling in my viewership if obviously the company HBO don't believe the uh, the B or the Z side in this situation has an opportunity to really win? You know, and if they do come to win and almost win, I already know the corruption in boxing is bullshit. And they probably going to give a bogus victory to the A side in this situation. So, you know, that's just telling me right then and there that, you know, HBO don't even believe. They don't believe that, um you know. The Z side in this situation, Selesky and, and Vines Monterosian, even have a fucking a chance at winning this fight. You know, and that, that's that's very telling, man, that they would produce posters without both opponents on the poster. You know, I, I know Selesky and Danny got a poster out there, and somebody in the comment section still going to bring it up. Uh, but like I said, you know, I wouldn't produce a, pit, a fucking poster with just Danny Jacobs on the poster and not putting Selesky face on the po poster. I think that's highly disrespectful, and it's still Vonage Monterosian. We already know that fight ain't shit, but HBO just confirmed it ain't shit neither, you know? And, that, and that's sorry, man. You don't see that with too many uh, fight fight cars, and HBO is perfectly fine on putting on bum bashes and, and mismatches and shit like that, and I just thought it was funny that, um, you know, both of these guys, you know, didn't make, you know, didn't make it, you know, didn't make the poster, one of these posters, man. And, um, you know, you know you ain't shit when you, uh, you know you not shit, when a company that's paying you to be the main event don't think you should to be on the poster. You know, and I just find it funny. And, you know, both of these fights, man, I think a lot of people are sleeping on the Jacobs fight. Um, oh, shit, well, I'm not even going to watch the Triple G fight at all. They tried to put Chocolito on the card, and he fell off. And, you know, I don't care if it's, a you know, whoever that girl on their card for. I don't give a fuck about really, really that, you know. I really care about it. You know, if it ain't Clarissa, I really don't care. You know, about women's boxing, I'm just keeping it real. Um... I see Heather Hardy, Heather Hardy fight out in Brooklyn. She really lost. But um, at the end of the day, um, yeah, you know, this is mismatch heaven. HBO shoving it all in your face, saying, look, it's mismatch heaven. It's mismatch heaven. You know, even though I think Selesky got an opportunity to um, strike for gold tonight versus Danny Jacobs. But, you know, I figured Danny Jacobs going to win. He ain't going to lose in Brooklyn, right? I don't see no way, no how. Him losing, losing in front of his home fans with the great Eddie Hearn behind him. But Triple G and Vines, they you know they disrespectful man. They did the face off at the open workout. It's it's just a whole bootleg, you know, fight putting together. It's just bootleg, you know. This is ooh, cheap and bootleg. But it's the boxing clinic of more man. We about to get some some other talk today as well. Shout out to the LDBC YTBC. We gone.